This local sports report is presented by Joy Source for Sports, a proud supporter of the Walkerton Capitals. Drop by the store at 435 Durham Street for all your apparel and gear for baseball, hockey, lacrosse, and more. Joy Source for Sports, we fit your game. It is a fresh start and a new beginning for the Walkerton Hockey Club this year in the Provincial Junior Hockey League. This is James Lang, who is the president of the hockey team. We're going to have a big reveal here in a minute, but first I want to touch on the history of the hockey club. You make the change this year from the Hawks to the Walkerton Capitals. Um, let's go through some of the history here. You know, obviously the Hawks is recognizable for a lot of people here, but you're also trying to build something new as well, right? Absolutely, and and with the, the with the name change, there was a pile of success in the last 17 years under the previous executive. Yep. A lot of championships that uh, you know the community rallied around. Mm -hmm. But the rationale with the Walker and Capitals was. Uh, in 1973, when they originally joined the OHA under the Junior D, they were the Walker and Capitals. Right. 1976, there was a little bit of change in which they went to the Blackhawks, mm -hmm. and then in the late 90s, 99, they went back to the, uh, they, they changed it to the Hawks. So we thought with the with with the change uh, in, in COVID, and there was a pile of things that were different in the organization, yep. in the past number of years, we've had a lot of success with our minor hockey, who are also the Walker and Capitals, which this year is 50 years of minor hockey, right. Walker and Capitals. We wanted to align it to... Uh, to, to align with their success as well. Which makes a ton of sense, right? Um, let's show everybody the jersey. This Absolutely. is the first time publicly that this jersey has been seen again. We're moving to the Walker and Capitals. James is going to move in here. He's going to quickly show you. You can see that on the front there, very much resembling the Washington Capitals, obviously, but also paying tribute um, you know, to the last almost two decades now with, with the Walker and Hawks. You've got the patch there on the side. Um, a lot of detail and a lot of time and effort was into making a huge change like this, right, James? Yeah, um, who, who are some of the people that just helped you come up with this design it and you know obviously you're very happy with it and mm -hmm. you know take a look at this thing like it's <laughs> it's it's really sharp it really yeah. is it, it, it was a lot of fun doing this and one of the first phone calls we made was to minor hockey obviously to make sure they aligned and make sure it was okay right. and the second was to our local sports store yeah. uh, Jim Albright Nathan Herman uh, they have been uh, bend over backwards to make this happen for mm -hmm. us in a short period of time and um, we can't thank them enough for making it happen. Of course, our supporters, the community, the previous sponsors, uh, the fans, our new fans, we're excited to get the season going. What's been the players' reaction? I bet they're fired up, right? You know, I, I don't I know. Mean, they, the change, our presence on social media, and just seeing the new swag, the, the kids have been pretty keen. Yeah, I was going to say they now think they're Alex Ovechkin <laughs> or something, probably yeah. as well, right? Yeah, that's the uh, hope. Right. So, so what is the vision for this season? Obviously, you know, you get going here in terms of your home opener on the twenty third. You're going to play Concordia here at the Walkerton Community Center. Um, you know, what's the group about this year? You know, what do you like about them? We. Uh, we're still there. We're still building a little bit, and and tonight we have another practice. But uh, ultimately, we, we want to see the kids come together and, and get back to the success of the previous seven teams under Ray Wright and his previous executive. Yeah. There's a lot of good kids come through this community under the Hawks, and we want to we want to mimic that success in the in the new organization with the Capitals. And that's the thing, right? It is the same thing. You know, you, sure you make the change, and that happens sometimes with you know you see it in professional sports as well. You know, especially in the last couple of years with with name changes and such. What would your message be to the community though? That you know, what's the same good hockey it's the same rink that you've been coming to yeah. forever um you know different little bit of a different jersey and some d different yeah. colors basically right uh, absolutely i mean the, the operations of it's going to be the same the, the support of the sponsors is still the same and then we've had some new ones and some old ones come back right well we asked the community is to come out and support the kids we have some good local kids we have kids are coming in that are going to make us a better team and uh, ultimately it's uh, it's for something to rally around something that we've been missing for the last two three years why is it important here what is it about this place? You know, I, small town hockey is obviously successful right across this province, and I see that in all the all kinds of different places that I go to at any point during the hockey season, whether it be PJHL or GOJHL. But what makes this place unique? What makes it so special to come to the rink and be part of the Walkerton Capitals? Well, like I said earlier, it's the success of our minor hockey program. Our, our both boys and girls programs in the Capitals have been very successful in the last two, three years. So. As much as we are the junior team or, or the next yeah. level to them, yeah. that's what it means for us, is bringing, bringing those kids back in here and have kids to look up to, but also for us to rally around them too. So that, that's what's important for us. Tell me a little bit about your coaching staff, you know, for the upcoming season, you know, what their messages are and how they're going to motivate these boys. You know, they're going to be hungry to win and they're going to be hungry to climb the standings. Yep. This isn't an easy division. You know that all too well. you got competitive teams all around you Absolutely. as well. Um, you know, tell me a little bit about the coaches and kind of what they're, you know, preparing for the upcoming year. I'll speak to Brad Tiley. Brad Tiley, uh, he's, he's got a pedigree of his own. He's got a lot of experience playing pro hockey and been around the league. He's been with the Owen Sound Attack. I, I've got to know him as an official skating in this league for 15 years, yeah. so I've seen him on the other side of it and getting to know him on this side of it. Um, uh, he's keen. Uh, having the kids come in, a, a new fresh look for the guys. Um, we're excited for everybody, the coaching staff, our management team, and all of our volunteers as well. 
Let's show that jersey one more time. This is the Walkerton Capitals. It's been great to visit the arena here tonight and meet some of the players and the coaches as, as well as you, James. Look forward to being around this season. Looking forward to some coverage on 519 Sports. The home opener again taking place on Friday, September 23rd, 730 here at the Walkerton Community Center against Kincardine. Always a fun matchup and looking forward to a great season. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it.